The world's smallest car has had enough of being the laugh of the street when it rolls out and drives around, so it started a muscle-up program. No, not that kind of situation where it gets a massive engine with as many cylinders and cubic inches as possible, mainly because it's an electric vehicle, but in the literal sense. The PCARS E50 went to the gym to car, up, grow some chest, ERRGH, torque, and lose belly fat. 53 photos photo. YouTube, Eddie Hall the Beast I'm joking. The world's smallest car didn't pump iron. Its driver did, from inside the car. Yeep, Eddie Hall is at it again, taking his newest motor acquisition to the gym after failing to fit through the doors of McDonald's last week. If you can't beat them, join them, right? If the burger nursery doesn't allow cars inside, the burger slaughterhouse will. Eddie Hall and his tiny PCARS E50 electric vehicle teamed up a short while back when the 6 feet 2 inches powerlifter bought the 41 inch wide, 47 inch tall microcar. As one might imagine, fitting all 188 centimeters of Eddie and the accompanying 350 pounds, 160 kilogram, into a 104 centimeter narrow space isn't exactly a snap of the finger. As expected from the world's strongest man of 2017, Eddie Hall, call sign, the beast, carries a gym bag when going for a workout. However, there's a tiny problem this time, pun intended, the car doesn't have a trunk. It doesn't have a cargo space. Period. Honestly, it doesn't have any sort of space for a big framed fellow like Eddie, photo. YouTube, Eddie Hall the beast you probably guessed it. The gym's front doors aren't automobile friendly, and the E.50 can't get it. But you don't get to be the world's strongest man without having connections in the right places. The owner of the fitness center is a friend of Mr. Hall, and he makes the arrangements for the car to sneak in through the service entrance. Because it is a battery electric vehicle with zero tailpipe emissions, no tailpipe at all, the super small automobile fits right in. It is a fitness parlor, after all and allows its driver to lift, pull, punch, and add sweat to the misery of the crammed cabin accommodation. If the challenges weren't enough discomfort, the muscle-bound driver has one more obstacle, his jacket. In a one-door automobile, getting a piece of garment off is the equivalent of tying shoelaces with one hand. However, the beast is no armchair weightlifter and gets it done, with the helping hand of his cameraman, photo, YouTube, Eddie Hall the Beast having scored a resounding success in the physical exam, the E.50 microcar goes to its first ever wash. Being the world's smallest car has its perks in the parking lot, and at the gym, as it just demonstrated, but an automated car wash is too much. The equipment's sensors, being calibrated to detect car-sized cars, don't pick up the presence of the puny descendant of the equally puny peel P53 wheeled oddity. But haven't EV makers always bragged about their cars as the cleanest means of transportation, bar legs, and feet, and guess what? The seals of the E.50 aren't the best weatherproofing solutions. Devised by the car making industry, and Ed Hall can testify. But a splash of water inside the cabin shouldn't be too much of a problem for the man who set the all-time deadlift record at 500 kilograms, 1,100 pounds. If the shopping cart-sized contraption gets too humid inside, he can just lift it and shake it dry. Or squeeze it since the 104 kilogram, 230 lbs, one-seater trike won't have enough pull to fight off. Its driver.